Welcome to my channel, my name is Renzo. For this portrait, I'm going to start using titanium white, burnt sienna, and ultramarine blue. The first stage is going to be for the likeness. That's the reason that I'm just starting with this simple palette. First, we need to pay attention to the proportion of the face, the measure, measurements of the face, of his face specifically, of course. Now I just mixed two values, one for the light and the other for the darks. I'm starting with the dark value just well, to make the draw. And then with the light, I make the difference between light and shadows. Uh, you can see the axis of his face that are now parallel. That's one thing that we need to keep in mind in order to capture the likeness of his face. Uh, making some details, I created just a third value. And after this, uh, I'm going to create a fourth value. I'm trying to be more accurate with drawing, making more details. This is the other value, the lighter one, to trying to get the volume. This first stage is everything about trying to capture the likeness. I mean, likeness is not just about uh, the position of the eyes, nose, and mouth is always about the correct values. If the values are not okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter if you if you start with a really nice drawing, uh, where, I mean, a really nice drawing, I mean, you have the position of the eyes, mouth, and the nose perfectly. As soon as you start painting and apply values, if you don't apply the values right, that you're gonna have a real problem there. That's why that's so important to pay attention to values. That's what I'm doing in this uh, first stage. That's the reason I have used this very simple palette because it's easy, it's like making a drawing. Now I'm making more details. As you can see now, if I don't know if you noticed that I have a mistake right now my eyes are kind of bigger that is a common mistake you usually used to paint the eyes bigger we gotta pay attention to that because is we are we are not aware of something that's so common we could leave it that way and at the end that's gonna be kind of difficult to make the corrections in this first stage is the time for paying attention to everything, proportion, likeness, light and shadow, mid-tones, everything. The next layers are going to be for color, for adjusting the values, adjusting the likeness. I, I mean, I'm gonna, I have to move mouth, nose and eyes. In this case, reduce the eyes. Maybe I'm going to move the mouth a little bit up or down. I don't know. But I gotta be sure that all the things, all the corrections are not gonna be so, let's say, drastic in the next stages. That's why I can just uh, take a lot of time in this first stage. I can make it in two or three sessions. Okay, it doesn't matter. With the same palette, just to get as much as, is, as I can, the proportion, measurements, and the likeness. At least 60% of the likeness. Right now, I feel that it's okay. And then I, I will let it dry. In the next stage, I'm going to be worried about the color a little bit. I'm going to apply a glaze. And then try to continue working on values. And of course, 
continue making corrections because I mean to get the likeness is a continued process of making corrections during the whole time from the beginning to the end now this is going to be the first glaze first I oil out the painting and using as a medium linseed oil and turpentine let's say 60% of linseed oil and 40% of turpentine I'm going to glaze with this orangey red for the whole face now I'm applying the light it's almost but it's really a, a light color it's almost white but it's not white I mean I mix uh, yellow a little bit of yellow and red it's gonna be a, a really lighter lighter orange as you can see uh, this the lights that I'm applying now is uh, without any solvent the first layer the red layer is a glaze which means it has a lot of medium but this light it doesn't have any medium in this way I can blend them together very easily I'm really worried right now about getting the volume it's always about values you gotta be worried always about values and at the same time I'm trying to get let's say a nice skin color not so close yet because it's gonna be I mean in this case in this particular painting I'm gonna, I'm gonna make maybe three or four layers of painting that means I gotta take the time just to go step by step uh, because of course one of my main concerns is about getting the likeness now I'm applying the shadows for the shadows I just mixed ivory black and red a little and, and a touch of yellow because I want this kind of um, a very dark red right now I can see more clearly the difference between light and shadows after applying this I'm going to blend the layer Try to have different brushes for blending and for applying the painting. For blending, I have like maybe six or eight brushes in different sizes. All of these brushes for blending are very old brushes that they have uh, their hairs all spread out because let's say they are ruined. They don't work for anything more than blending, which is really perfect for me now i'm going to apply the, the greens that we can see in any face we i apply with bra one brush and i blend with another brush this is the whole process about this with the light the shadows and with this variation of colors There is a video on my channel about the parts of the face that have more reddish and greenish colors. 
I'll uh, leave you the link of the video in the description. I'm being more more careful uh, playing right now any color, any layer, because I'm trying to capture the variation of the values uh, uh, on his face, and because all of those details are about capturing the likeness, which is kind of really difficult. I mean, everybody's after that. I let the painting dry for a couple of days. Now, in order to create more volume, we have to apply more oil, more thick oil to the light. That's a rule, basically. It's, that's so, so common to do that. You remember that always we paint the lights thicker and the shadows thin. What I'm trying to be careful in this stage is just trying to be accurate with this color because it's a impasto and sometimes I, ha I have made a mistake before and I applied this impasto kind of lighter than the color of the skin. And we gotta be we gotta pay attention to that. We need to be aware of every step in the process. Okay, there is an order that I'm following in order to create volume, in order to create the, the likeness. And this is a process that I have used so many times and it worked for me. And I hope that this works for you. I'm using just a small brush and accumulating the painting just there. It's not like a heavy, heavy impasto with a bigger br brush and a plane are really heavy, big brush strokes. I'm just trying to accumulate little by, by little the painting. Right now, I'm just trying to adjust some values because I saw them I mean we gotta pay attention to any detail if we we go like from the top to the bottom again and again just thinking about measurements thinking about the axis of his face thinking about the light and shadow we got we gotta let's say review all over again every time I'm going again with some green colors. When we apply this kind of impasto, I mean, it's not a match, but for this kind of impasto, we need to be more accurate the, than before that we are applying some glazes. When we apply, apply a glaze, usually the color that we mix in the palette is gonna be different than the color that we get on the painting. Yes, because we blend the color and that change its value and and the color it's itself but in this case is different because the painting uh, is kind of thick 
it that means that it's gonna stay the same color. Because of that, we gotta pay attention a little bit more about mixing the right color. Now, uh, we'll let dry the painting for maybe four or five days. As you can see now, I make this uh, white, black and white video and image in order for me to compare the values. If you compare my, my painting and the image, you can see my painting, the lights on my painting are kind of strongest than the image. You can see some highlights like everywhere. And now, now what I'm going to do now is try to even all the light of the face to try to just to get uh, get rid of those highlights everywhere. This is an opaque glaze. It means that the, the color has white in the mixture, and it's, it's going to cover a little a little bit more than when you apply a transparent glaze. I apply the painting and I blend with another brush. I'm going to do the same with the shadows. I'm going to apply another layer to the shadows. And now I'm going to add again the greens on the face. Remember these greens part of the face have to be very subtle, have to be very transparent. There are some faces that you can see very clear the difference between the reddish or grayish parts of the face or and the, the strongest or more, more warm like the nose, the cheeks, the chin. But there are some faces that you don't really see those colors yes but I mean that's kind of necessary when you paint that you need to apply those colors because the very this subtleties this little variation is better for is better for a painting it looks better if you just if we just paint something flat that's gonna be like making a drawing with just one color and if I mean, if you don't see those green variation or blues or purples or any other colors, I advise you to apply them just a little bit, just so subtle, but apply them. Okay, that's going to be better for your painting. But remember, don't touch the cheeks, the nose, the chin, the upper lid and the lower lid. Those parts used to be reddish, used to be warmer. As you see now, I'm going around the chin but I didn't touch the chain. Okay. From here, it's just about making details. Not speaking about painting like eyelashes hair by hair or the eyebrows when I say details I prefer thinking about those subtleties of the values between light and mid-tones those small subtle values that's the ones that makes a difference in your painting
and applying some light to this clear. As you can see, it's about just applying light, applying mid tones. It could take me like two more sessions to do this. Just go with a really small brush, going over again and again, trying to correct the values. As you see now, I'm applying a shadow there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Always checking the axis of the face. That's what I'm going about to do now to compare the painting with the image. It's kind of there is not 100% perfect, but really close. I want you to see a detail. His upper lip is thicker. I'm going to retouch that. But I'm very happy with the result. Yes, I think I, I got the likeness. It's not perfect, but I think it's good enough. As you see now, I retouched the upper lip is better now. Thank you for watching my channel. I'll see you in the next video.